Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting video in DT Light channel. So in my previous video, we have seen how to upload files of any format like PNG, DOC, JPG file format using Spring Boot in Java. So for those of you who have not watched my video, I have provided the link in the description box. You can go and check that. So in this video, we are going to see how to download files using Spring Boot. All right, so let's get started and let me try to use the same project which I use for uploading the files. All you need to do is just make changes in three files. So first, let's try to add two more methods in this interface. So already I have added three methods here for uploading the files. That is init, delete all and save method. So now let me try to add two methods. One method will be of type resource. Let me name the method as load. So this method will be accepting a file name. And next, let me try to add a method which is of type stream. Let me name the method as load all. So the first method will be accepting a file name and it will be fetching the file from our system. This load all method will be retrieving the entire files from our system. Now let's try to implement these methods. So here I'm going to implement those methods. So here I'm going to include try catch block since this method will be throwing a runtime exception. exception. So here inside this try block, I'm going to write path file equals to root dot resolve and then the file name. Next, let me try to check whether the file is existing in our system. So for that, I'm going to write resource equal to new URL resource file dot to URA. Now I'm going to check whether it is existing for that exist or resource dot is readable. So in that case, I'm going to return the resource else I'm going to throw an exception, throw new runtime exception. So inside that I can give a message that could not read the file. So in this catch block, I'm going to throw the exception, throw new runtime exception, some error message, e dot get message. So that is all with this method guys. So next let's try to add something here. So here I'm going to include try catch block. Inside this try block I'm going to return all the files. So files dot walk inside this I'm going to write this dot root. I'm going to set a maximum depth as one dot filter. Let me try to move this next line. Filter inside this path. And I'm going to check if that is not equal. This dot root. And I'm going to map this this dot root I'm going to make use of delete device so that is all guys so in this cache block I'm going to throw an exception throw a new runtime exception that is could not load the files So that is all. So this is how you have to add two methods uh, for downloading the files. 
Now let's try to make some changes in the controller class. Here I'm going to add two endpoints. One is for retrieving the file depending upon the file name provided in the request. Another method is for retrieving the entire files from our system. Now let me try to add get mapping. Inside this I'm going to frame a URL slash files slash file name and that is all so next let me try to add a method here which is of type response entity inside this I'm going to add resource let me try to name this as get file so this method will be accepting a file name so at the rate path variable string file name so here inside this I'm going to add resource file equals to I'm going to make use of the file service class file service dot load inside this I'm going to pass the file name which is given in the request now let's try to return this return response entity dot ok and then I'm going to set the headers header inside this HTTP headers dot content disposition and then I'm just framing the URL for here for this file and here attachment semicolon file name which is given in the request and then I'm going to append the file name get file name so next let me try to add the body so that is all guys so this is how you have to write the method for retrieving the file depending upon the file name which is given in the request now let's try to add one more method for fetching all the files which is of type get method inside this slash files so public response entity so this method will be written, returning a list of files so here list file details which is our model class let me name this method as get all files and then here I am going to declare a list list inside this file details equals to going to make use of the service class file service dot load all and then I'm going to map inside this I'm going to use a lambda expression here I'm going to frame two paths that is the file name and then the URL for that I'm going to write string file name equals to path dot get file name dot to string next let me try to frame the URL equals to I'm going to make use of MVC URI components builder and we have a method that is dot from method name inside this I'm going to use controller class inside this I'm going to 
make use of the method uh, which is available here that is get file so get file comma path dot get file name dot to string and then I'm going to build this dot to string so and then I'm going to return new file details and then I'm going to pass the file name and then URL now let me try to return the list so now I'm going to write return response entity dot status which is of type ok and inside the body I'm going to pass the list there you go so that is all this is how you have to make some changes in the controller class we have added two endpoints one is for fetching the file depending upon the file name given in the request another method is for retrieving the entire files which is available in your system now let's try to run this application by giving mdn clean package and then mbn spring boot run as you can see here the tomcat has started on the port 8090 now let's try to test the application using postman now let me try to upload a file as you can see here the message file is uploaded is uh, displayed here now let's try to retrieve the files so I'm going to use get method and the URL I'm going to give here is files hit the send button there you go as you can see here the name and the URL of the file is displayed here so next let me try to fetch the file based on the file name here I'm going to give file slash the file name that is main.jpg this will be returning a binary data so I'm going to hit this URL in the browser just copy paste and then I'm going to hit here as you can see here you are getting a pop-up message either to open or save the file that is you are trying to download the file based on the file name given in the request so that is all guys so this is all for the video today so let's try to meet in the next video hit the like button share and please subscribe to my channel see you all in my next video bye